Up next on Lion TV, we have another episode of Two Chicks and a Flick coming straight from Emily and Paige. Lion TV intro student Lily has a story for us about London's love for dance. We also have all your sports updates with Jacob. And me, Andrew Touchdown Tyler, with your week of weather. All that and more, Lion TV starts right now. What's up, Cersei? How y'all feeling? I'm Landon Marino. I hope y'all are all feeling good on this fine morning. I'm Lexi Farron. Now let's hear some of those announcements. Esport players are needed. Mario Kart 8, Smash Bros Ultimate, Madden 22, and League of Legends in Rocket League are the games that esports team plays. If you think your video game skills are top tier, drop by Mr. Renard's room to sign up. Attention seniors. Ms. Roddy has created a file on her Schoology account called Local Scholarships. This is where local scholarships will be added as they are received. The White County Farm Bureau Scholarship is accepting applicants now. Senior students interested in getting that done for school need to check Schoology for updates. Don't forget to buy your 2022 yearbook. You can order them on Justin's website or bring money to Ms. Cook. Books are currently $50, but the prices go up to $55 in January. Landon, have you noticed the dance team lately? No, but this corona crap has limited their appearance to school functions. This is true, but corona hasn't stopped the line steppers from loving this sport, especially London King. Lily Lindsay has a story about London and the rest of the team. Everyone loves to watch the dance team perform at football and basketball games, but not many people know the amount of work and commitment it takes to put on a good show. London King, a sophomore at Cersei High School, gives an inside view of what it takes to be a Lion Stepper. To become a Lion Stepper, you had to make it through tryout week. With 30 girls trying out and only 15 being on the team, it takes perseverance and good attitudes to make the cut. What I tried out for the dance team was, since I was a little girl, I've been dancing, and it's just been a hobby of mine, and I've just loved to. And I was like, once I get in high school, it'll be a fun opportunity for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and try out, and if I make it, I make it, and if I don't, I don't. I just thought it would be a cool opportunity to see if I could. Since COVID has come along, there have been many challenges to work through. With quarantine and reblocking, it may take extra work to get to the final show. Since COVID is still going on and we aren't wearing masks anymore, quarantine is coming back and we've had a few people have to quarantine and so we've had to rework formations and that's been difficult for some, but we've had extra practices to figure them out and we've worked through our difficulties. And for some on the team, playing multiple sports can bring difficulties on its own. London tells us how she made it work and managed her time in both sports. Some difficulties I've had playing two sports is practices interfere a lot. And sometimes when we'd have certain tennis matches, we would have dance practice. It would just be kind of hard to manage, but the coaches were very understanding and let me do what I needed to do that day. With new coach, Miss Edie Hightower, coming in this year, many changes and new ways of coaching have been brought into play. Our coach has affected my first year of dance with her motivational words, and she always has our best interest, and she'll pull people that know a lot about dance and have a lot of experience to teach us so that we can be the best that we can. My favorite part of football games is getting interactive with the crowd and the football players because a lot of time they will get excited with us, and it's fun to kind of like huddle up like with the cheer team, especially at our last away game. The crowd was going crazy. We didn't have very many people there, but just the energy and I just love to get like hype and excited with my teammates and the students and the fans. The most rewarding part of dance is when we all have a dance down and it's looking good and we're feeling proud of ourselves. You can watch your Cersei Lion Steppers perform this upcoming basketball season. Let's turn it back to the news desk. Wow, they're so good. I wish I could dance like that. Me too. Now let's get into some AP stories. Doctor, doctors raced Monday to save the lives of people who were knocked out or trapped in their apartment by a fire that sent smoke 
billowing through, the, through a New York City high-rise. 19 people, including 9 children, died in the blaze. Dozens of people were hospitalized, including several in critical condition after Sunday's fire in the Bronx, which was already the city's deadliest in three decades. The man, the myth, the legend, Bob Saget, also known as Danny Tanner, Tanner in our favorite childhood show, Full House, sadly died. He was found dead Sunday in Florida and he was only 65. Nothing but high regards are left by his friends and family saying things like, you couldn't find a nicer or sharper wit than Bob Saget. He was kind and dear and generous and cared about people deeply. He was the definition of a good egg. The state's COVID-19 deaths increased to 9,278 since the pandemic. The number of people hospitalized with COVID-19 increased to 892. This is pushing the Arkansas school districts to pivot to virtual school, with Little Rock and Pulaski County already switching to online learning. The next question is, when will Cersei? Another question I have for Cersei is, what about the weather? Yeah, like why is it so cold but there's not a flurry in sight? I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to Mother Nature about this abomination. But since I don't know what Mother Nature has, I guess Andrew touched on Tyler will do. Hello, Cersei. Hi. Today we'll be having a high of 56 degrees. It'll be mostly sunny with a 6% chance of rain. Um, winds will be coming in at southwest at 9 miles per hour. Uh, humidity will be 67% and the sun rose at 7.15 a.m. On to tonight. Tonight we'll have a low of 33 degrees, mostly clear with a 6% chance of rain. Winds will be coming in at west, 4 miles per hour, humidity at 90%, and your sun will set at 5.18 p.m. On to the almanac. Last seven days temperature, high of 55 degrees, low of 18 degrees, monthly average of precipitation, 3.58 inches, month to date, 3.63 inches. On to the forecast. Thursday will be mostly sunny with a high of 58 and a low of 33 degrees, 6% chance of rain. Friday will be mostly cloudy with 52 degrees as the high, 40 degrees as the low and a 10% chance of rain. Saturday will be mostly cloudy with 50 degrees as the high and 30 degrees as the low with a 2% chance of rain. Sunday will be mostly cloudy again with 46 degrees as your high and 31 degrees as your low and a 4% chance of rain. And rounding off with Martin Luther King Day, for which we'll have a day off, we'll have a high of 48 degrees, a low of 29 degrees, a 4% chance of rain, and it'll be sunny. That's all the weather for now, Cersei. Have a great day. Back to the news desk. Well done, Andrew. Lexi, where does the touchdown come from? Well, I think it's when they make a shot in basketball. No, Andrew's nickname. Oh, I don't know, but I do know what we're eating today. Today for lunch we'll be having chicken nuggets, chicken noodle soup, cheese pizza stick, baked potato, seasoned green beans, grape tomatoes, peaches, apples, and cupcakes. Yes. Yummy in my tummy. That's a little childish, Lexi. Maybe, but that does lead us into our next segment. I hear Emily and Paige are talking about the new movie about little group from Minions and Two Chicks in a Flick. Hey Cersei, welcome to episode four of Two, Two Chicks, Chicks in a Flick. <laughs> this. First off, let's answer that trivia question from last time. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Here's the question just to remind you. What are the dying words of Charles Foster Kane in Citizen Kane? The answer is... Rosebud. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get on to the movies. Alright, our first movie is Lightyear. I heard about that. It looks super cool. It totally is. This movie is an upcoming American animated science fiction action film produced by Pixar Animation Studios and Walt Disney Pictures and distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. It'll show us the history and origin of Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story movies. This movie will come out June 17, 2022, starring Chris Evans as Buzz. Looks good. Now let's talk about Minions, Rise of Brew. For sure, this is another origin story. Yep, it stars Steve Carell, Russell Brand, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and more. The untold story of one 12-year-old's dream to be named the greatest supervillain in the whole world. This movie will come out July 1st, 2022. You seriously think a puny little child can be a villain? Yes, I, I am pretty despicable. I'm ready, but let's move on to something a little different. I'm down. Have you heard about Uncharted? Oh yeah, that's the one with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg in it, right? 
That's the one. It's based on one of the best-selling, most critically acclaimed video game series of all time. Uncharted introduces audiences to the young street smart Nathan Drake and showcases his first treasure hunting adventure with wisecracking partner Victor Sully Sullivan. This adventure action film will release February 18th, 2022. Sounds tubular. It's almost the end of the show. What? So how about we end with another trivia question? Oh yeah, here we go. The stage play Everybody Comes to Rick's was adapted for the screen to become what 1942 Best Picture winner? Check in next time to hear the answer. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bye guys. Oh, little Groot is so cute. Who? D did you not just watch that segment? No, I was just thinking about how sportsman Jacob resembles Carl Zeus. The scene in Tenga? Uh, yeah, the literal icon of news shows. The dude Mr. Bowman strives to be. But anyways, Carl, I mean Jacob, has some sizzling sports news for us. Good to see you again, Cersei. Let's hit these sports updates before heading into today. In local sports, the boys and girls varsity basketball team had a game last Friday against Paragol Rams. The girls would get behind quick in the first half and wasn't able to recover it in the second, with the ladies losing 24-57, putting them at 2-11 for the season, while the boys would also get behind quick in the first quarter, but with some great defense and the offense coming alive, the boys were able to come back and beat the Rams 65-59, putting them at 6-3 for the season and 1-0 against conference teams. The boys and the girls' next game will be on Friday when they take on Marion. The Cersei Lions wrestling team had a match schedule for Monday but was canceled due to COVID-19 cases. While they didn't have that game, they had their Conway Inventational with the boys getting fourth with a score of 161 and the girls placing first overall with a score of 206. If COVID concerns don't get in the way, the wrestling team's next match will be this Friday where the Lady Lions will have their Inventational and Saturday where the boys will compete in a Cersei duel which will be streamed on the Lion TV YouTube channel. In national news, college football playoffs had their championship game Monday where third-ranked Georgia took on number one-ranked Alabama at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Georgia would win the game and end it with a pick six with a minute left on the clock and would end in a score of 33-18. This would be Georgia's first championship win since 1980. Congratulations to all who were involved and we can't wait to see college football start back up in August. Speaking of playoffs, the seeding in the NFL have been officially set with teams like the San Francisco 49ers and the Pittsburgh Steelers barely pushing through to make it. This weekend, all teams except for the first seed in each conference being the Green Bay Packers in the NFC and the Tennessee Titans in the AFC will play in Super Wild Card Weekend to see who will continue on to the divisional round. College basketball had some pretty exciting games over the weekend including Missouri upsetting number 15 ranked Alabama 92-86. Texas Tech upsetting number seven Kansas 75 to 67, and Oklahoma pulling the third upset with the biggest score difference against Iowa State with a score of 79 to 66. Well, Cersei, that's all the sports updates I have for you this week. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Now back to Landon and Lexi at the news desk. He kind of looks like Carl too. I was thinking more personality-wise. The receding hairline kind of throws me off. Speaking of off, it's time for us to be off. Well, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cersei High Lion TV. And follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV, and Instagram at Cersei Lion TV. Well, Cersei, I guess your favorite anchors will have to see you Friday. I'm Lexi Farron. And I'm Landon Marino. <laughs> I don't know what that says. Adios, amigos.